What is our intro? I forgot. Do we have an intro? No, not really. Last okay. time it was just like a shit show. Okay, so welcome back to our show. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Episode two. Um, how should we kick it off? We should, should we have like a, a saying or something? I don't know. I thought that that literally just asked you that. I don't know. I know. That's next episode. <laughs> yeah. We need like intro music. I feel like a lot of them have like intro music or something. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have a thing that flashes on YouTube? I can make it. That's what I would do. Yeah. We'll make a flashy thingy. Um, that like moves and shit. Yeah. So today's episode, I'm excited. Well, mm-hmm. first of all, actually, before I even get into it, um, I want to say thank you. Literally, we got such positive feedback on our last episode. Um we had so many people commenting, liking. Like, I had a ton of people reach out to me. You had some people reach out to you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, the girls are funny as hell. Yeah. They were loving it. <laughs> um, yeah. And that makes me so happy because I was worried. I thought everyone was going to, like, laugh at us. I mean, we're funny, so you really can't not like us. So there's that. Mm-hmm. There is that. I mean, we're stars. There's there's that, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> These things really hurt my ears. <laughs> what? Like, the thing, or do you want me to turn it down? No, the, this little knobs. It's okay. Well, I got more expensive ones coming, but Amazon's taking too long. Girl, so was Ikea. I waited six fucking weeks. Hello. I was going to order a desk, and it said it wasn't going to come till June. Bitch, I ordered it April 4th, and it's not coming until May 16th. Ah. Uh-huh. And it's fucking picture frames. Like, come on. That ain't right. I could have made it my damn self. You really could have. Fuckers, by the Been like a little carpenter. Um... But yes, thank you so much for all the positive feedback. We really appreciate it. Um, and keep watching our stuff. You can subscribe. Or you can listen to us in here. We're on iTunes now. We're on Spotify now. They approved our, our asses. Yes. I they, what the I've fuck? always wanted if they listen beforehand. I feel like they have to. To make sure that you're not like channel. spouting out like, Yeah. Totally. I don't know. What if you're saying some crazy ass shit? I really hope Apple. <laughs> <laughs> I really fucking hope that Apple's like, what the fuck? Or Spotify. Whoever approved that. <laughs> I just listening like okay <laughs> this is her part like i don't do the technical stuff i just sit here and talk i don't the rest of it confuses the shit out of me so she's the one figuring that out <laughs> she's yeah. the expert at that i'm just i'm just here to play yeah so we pulled the girls and we're gonna give them what they asked for mm-hmm. everybody wants to hear our dating disasters yes and criterias and, did i say that right Cri- <laughs> i don't think that's a word Criter- criteria yes yeah. criteria Crit- Crit- criteria <laughs> i think it's criteria <laughs> standards there we go yeah. our dating standards <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't I'm going to miss congeniality <laughs> when she's like, the perfect date is April 25th. <laughs> Girl, I don't have standards in real life. Why would I have it during dating? But sure. we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that. <laughs> Literally. Um, okay. So so the first thing. Where do we even begin with dating? Okay. So, I think we should talk about like your idea of like the perfect first date that you've maybe never been on. <laughs> I've never well, been. Well, you've never been on one, clearly. <laughs> It's I just shady. like the way you set it up. <laughs> I mean, if it, like, oh, if, hateful bitch. <laughs> clearly, never been on one. Like, if you could, if you could outline your most perfect date, what does it entail? I'm so ghetto. I'm just, like thinking over here. <laughs> she wants to go to White Castle, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hates White Castle. No, but like, I'm really cool with just like a pizza Walk on the beach. <laughs> no, honestly, though, like if you give me a pizza, we chill somewhere like beach or like watch a movie. Or whatever. Honestly, you would go to someone's house you, you had never met before as a first date for pizza and a movie. <laughs> yeah, you would. Oh my I've god, I've already oh done my it. God. Um, I, I mean, I, I, like, I hello. Have to actually, I have actually. I'm just saying we're talking shit, and I've done the same thing. No, I mean, like, okay, so what I have done that's like actually really cute is like going out and looking at stars and shit and being high. I I like just like chilling and like getting to know someone. No, okay, bitch. Okay. I don't like going out somewhere fancy. I feel uncomfortable when it's fancy. I, like, start yeah, sweating. Yeah, that's true. I'm not a fancy bitch. Nah, me either at all. Like, <laughs> at all. <laughs> she said, look at the stars. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. I don't know. One time, I hung out with this guy. Let's see if our stars have lined. And we, like, got some food. We went to some McDonald's. <laughs> what the fuck? Just trace the stars, too. Look, I oh, my don't... God, it says your name. <laughs> No, that's not. I don't know, bitch. We got some McDonald's. Okay, we got okay. we smoked a little. We okay. broke into this construction site and we just like hung out. And oh, now it she's was... an illegal queen. <laughs> she's looking at stars in an abandoned building she broke into. And eating McDonald's. No, it was oh, a construction site. It wasn't a building. Did you have McNuggets? I got burger. Oh. And McFlurry. 
Oh, I like the Oreo one. <laughs> yeah. I think my idea of like a perfect first date. Well, let me take that back. <laughs> let me tell you first. what I like. So in my mind, it's something very different from how I want it to play out. In my mind, I'm like, oh, we can go to an exhibit, amusement park. Like how a cool museum. Would that be? Muse- yeah. yeah you want say to a museum learn- again. You Baltimore. Museum. <laughs> you want like, to learn about history, huh? Yes, or like something. You if know, you're clocking me. You're talking about stars aligning at McDonald's. Of course, I'm clocking you. Um, <laughs> I think like not like a museum, an exhibit, an amusement park. Like how cool would it be to go to like Six Flags on your first date? That would be fun as fuck. Eh. Okay, no hates that. But I don't care. I, I don't know. I like getting to know someone. How, how am I gonna talk to you when we're on a roller coaster? You got lines to wait, and you have plenty of time to fucking talk. Hmm. hmm. That's. I mean, or like, I, I think living I, in New I York, I would say like, maybe like. Going through a bike ride in Central Park. The idea of that sounds perfect, but doing it sounds like... That's too much activity. Oh my god, like some guy literally texted me and he was like, I want to take you rock climbing. Bitch, that is too much work. Bitch, <laughs> you want me to go rock cl- oh. You want me to climb uh. up a wall? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? Hey, babe, what's your birthday? <laughs> oh, October 27th. Falls like, <laughs> no. Huh. That sounds fun after you know someone. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah, it does. I think it sounds fun. Um, however, the type of first date that I've always went on normally is like you meet at like a bar. First off, you have to pregame at your house first. Like I've, ne- I don't think I've ever met a guy, like, without like either a pregaming or b being somewhere in the vicinity that they're in, drinking somewhere else, and then meeting with them afterwards. Like, there's not, you have to take the edge off a little bit. Like, I can't walk into that shit. Like, it scares the shit out of me to walk into, like, if, say they're, like, with their friends at a bar, but you're, like, at a bar, like, like, let's say, like, a few blocks away or something. Yeah. And they're, like, hey, you should come meet me here. Like, I'm referencing this because this is how Mark and I met, but, um, like, he was at a bar, I was at a bar near with one of our friends, and then we met up. And, like, that, I think that is, like, the best segue because you see them around their friends and they see you around your friends and it kind of like gives you a gist of like, are they partygirl.com? Are they chill? Like, are you meeting them at like a piano bar? Are you meeting at like a club? Like, you know, like you can kind of gauge like, yeah, like what kind of person there. Now for me, you need to meet me at some like hole in the wall, like dive bar, dirty, seedy. Mm-hmm. Like that's my style. A hundred thousand percent. That's like, very you. Yeah. If I go to like a wine bar or piano bar, like I'm just like, through 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 like it's just not my scene like i'd rather go like somewhere like i'm not paying 17 dollars for a drink that i can get for four dollars two blocks down <laughs> like at some like crazy little place that's just me literally i don't have high expectations when it comes to like now don't get me wrong oh, there are some times where you're like i want to be fancy like get dressed up and do things like i totally yeah. down for that too i just think like seedy and gross is like that's My a party. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I, I only like getting fancy after I already, like, know someone very well. Yeah, for I, sure. I, yeah. For sure. But even still, I don't know if that's my favorite kind of date. No. No, I'd rather go bike riding in Central Park. Or rock climb. Oof. I don't want to meet you at a wine bar down the street. <laughs> like, I'm good, love, and joy. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do something active. Um, oh, my lord, I'm dropping my phone. Mm. Um, I have a funny story, actually, with that. So, that made me think of how many people I've met specifically at a bar. Should I, should I say the bar? Probably not. Towson? <laughs> yeah. Say it, girl. Everyone already knows. That's where I live, at Towson Somewhere. Green Turtle. Um, I know we had to close the windows for this because I didn't want there to be sounds coming in here. Um, so we're dying. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say that's hot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like there is something. Um, but yeah, I basically like live at Towson Green Turtle. What's well, not Green Turtle anymore? They just changed it. I think it's like something else. It's like uptown something. Anyway, they changed it. I used to go there all the time. There's a funny story. Know. I'm not gonna say anyone's names in the story, but so I used to go there a lot. Say girl, <laughs> <laughs> call those out. No, but it's funny because so if you know me, I have like a specific type of guy that I always go for. Like, how would you even describe it? Like tall, lanky, stoner, skater. Well. The type of guy you like to think that you go for, or the type of guy that you go for when you're at the park at 4 a.m. drunk? Don't even go there. Because that's anybody that comes up. Honestly, anyone who comes up to me at the bar when 
<laughs> 4 a.m. 4 a.m. drunk is, is my type of guy. I'm like, <laughs> your ideal man are the ones that you like to play with at bars. <laughs> Goodbye. Anyway, so I'm out with my one friend who I used to like go out with all the time, and we're chilling at the bar, and this guy walks in. My perfect type, like down to a T. Like if I could describe him, he literally looked like. Like, Jeffree Star's old boyfriend. Like oh, he's cute. Nathan. He's cute. And he was, like, but he was, like, super tall, super lanky, like, oh, I was in heaven. Um, Did and, you ruin it? We'll get there. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> well, okay, so, like, I think, like, literally the stars aligned because she, like, whips her head around and looks at me because she, we knew. We were, like, oh, my God, this is your type of guy. So, I'm, like, making dead-ass eye contact with him. I'm, like, I'm going to marry you. So, he comes over to us. It's a Blake McAllister is in Bel Air. <laughs> that poor boy i tried to like hit on a bartender at this other bar it did not go bar back. oh shit he wasn't even bartender. i'm not shitting bar backs. i'm not shitting bar backs. i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> yeah he looked young huh he was, um, cute. He was. i still my drunk ass was like yeah i'm gonna go talk to this guy for you girl we i got you wasted. oh my god i was wearing swimming trunks and sunglasses at a bar in Bel Air, Maryland. <laughs> I wasn't well. <laughs> yeah, neither of us were. And then I went in there a second time and our friend's uh, boyfriend went up to him and said, hey, have you met our friend? And he said, yeah, <laughs> and walked away. Anyway, okay, back to my story. So I'm making eye contact with this guy that is perfect for me. He walks over and I'm like, this is my time. Like, I'm getting married. Um, and he starts hitting on my friend. Not me. And he tries to hook me up with his friend who looks like not my type. Now, now I'm not going to shade the friend because he was cute, but he was like one of those like guys with like a beard and a fade and like one of those entrepreneurial type of guys. Like me? N- <laughs> <laughs> no, but you don't have like entrepreneur in your Instagram bio. I'm a scientist, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Like those mm-hmm. guys that like live in their mom's house and yeah. they're like, hey, I'm an entrepreneur. Like, mm-hmm. fuck off. You don't own anything, but... Uh, hello. Yeah. Um, so he starts hitting on her, and I'm pissed. And um, she, like, eggs it on. So, long story short, she basically thought she could, like, pass him off to me. I'm like, whatever. I'm over it. So we're out another night. He comes up to us again. Hits on you. Um, he's kind of, like, hitting on both of us. Like, because it was a big bar in Towson, and we were kind of, like... Marry her. Well, no, and not in this instance. Okay, he was mine. So he's hitting on me. He's hitting on her. He's hitting on me. And then we're both like chatting about him. I was like, I really want him. Like, can you like stop? And we both turn around. He's making out with another girl. And we were like, fuck this guy. We're going to leave. So we leave. Okay, months go by. This is like a story of instant karma. Sorry, this is a long ass story. I'm trying to get through it. Um, it was in the summer. So fast forward to wintertime. We're out at the bar. Some guy comes up to us. We have no idea who he is. And he goes like, hey, guys, like, what's up? He looks crazy. <laughs> like, he, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain what happened to him. She said earlier he looked like he got stung by a bee. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Several times. His face looked crazy. It looked like, you know, in the Hunger Games when they all get stung by the bees? Mm. Yo, his face looked crazy. He was he looked like he gained a lot of weight. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna shame anybody or anything. But he just looked a little different. Okay. Is that different? <laughs> he looked a little different. A little touched. <laughs> I had no idea who he was. Okay. I was like, who is this? And then he tells us he's him, and he's like, oh, right after I met you guys, I had a severe allergic reaction. To what? <laughs> I don't know. No one knows. He didn't know. But uh. ain't, ain't that some karma though? You try to play two girls. <laughs> he got some I just imagine him like out in his yard like mowing the lawn and he gets like attacked by bees <laughs> <laughs> bitch that's <laughs> what you get crazy. okay <laughs> I was so fed up I was like ha have you ever left a date like like was on a date and left just like got up and left oh, or I... like phoned a friend to like get you out of there like the, cla- oh. the classic like oof a friend's car broke down so, uh, gotta go I kinda did did okay. you oh yeah oh yeah I phoned my mom. <laughs> Ruth. Because, okay, I thought that she could come up with a good excuse. So I text her. Because we have, like, this word we text each other when something's wrong. Um, and you have to, like, she just knows. Yeah. Um, so I text her my word. And she writes back. She's like, okay, what's going on? I'm like, I'm on a date. Like, give me a good reason to leave. She texts me. Hey, Liv, I need you to come home and do my hair. That's her. <laughs> that's, that was her. Yes. 
I was like, bitch, you can't come up with a better excuse. Were you going like, to show him, like... Well, yeah, because he was, like, one of those people that, like, wouldn't believe me. Because we've never... Oh, we, I'd be like, bitch, I don't give a fuck, bye. Well, he knew her. Like, we, oh. we knew each other for a long time. I'd be like, oh, oof. My tummy's rumbling. <laughs> I think I got to the bathroom. <laughs> no, so I tried to go with it, the doing her hair thing. It was really bad. It was a bad scene. I couldn't save it. What was yours? Um, like, when... There's been several that, like, I... But I try to make it through just because I didn't... One, like, there's been a couple that I've been like, I'm not going to get through this. But there's been some where I'm like, damn, I wouldn't want this to happen to, like, me. Like, if someone, like, met me and then they were like, oh, fuck, like, gotta go, bye-bye. Like, I thankfully have never had that happen. Like, I never, actually, not once. But um, I always kind of consider the other person, that's, like, the nice side of me. You don't get to see it very often. But, like, I'm like, shit, like, maybe we could be, like, really good friends. Like, for instance, like, I met, like, this, um, it was, like, when I first, first moved here. And I hit the town and in the city, and I don't remember who I was with, but I was with a friend, and then this guy started talking to me at a bar up here that's, like, super seedy. And he was so nice, and was, like, at the end of the night, he was, like, hey, like, I really want to, like, take you out. Did I hear? Follow my Instagram, because that's Modern Day Dating. Follow my Instagram. Um, DM me, or whatever. I'm, like, why don't you just give me your phone number, but sure. Whatever. So I, like, follow him or whatever, and he, like, would still DM me. Like, he hasn't in a really long time now, but, like, he'd be like, let me take you out. And I always felt so bad because he was so nice. And I wanted to, like, go out with him as friends. Like, like us hit the town as gal pals. But, anyways, long story short, it, like, never happened. But um, he was very nice, but I didn't, like... Plus, he was buying me all the free drinks that night, so I wasn't about to get away from him, <laughs> to be We honest. love a free cocktail. Oh, yeah, but... Uh, when I was, like, 16, I had just came out, and when you come out, it's, like, a shitstorm of, like, emotions. Like, you just told people that you're, like, gay, and then you're, like, you immediately, for some reason, I don't know why gay people do this, but immediately start searching for, like, your lifelong partner. I don't know why. Gay people love that. They can't get enough. Um, but I agreed to meet this guy that had previously dated my friend, who I had dated, um, we were, like, we were still friends. And he was like, trust me, like, when you go out with him, you're gonna see that he looks nothing like his photos. So I was like, okay, I'll take my friend with me. So I was gonna go to Starbucks. I was, so I was like, we're, it was in my car. I was with my friend, and she was in the passenger seat. And I was like, I think that we should get there a couple minutes beforehand, before the technical date, so he can walk in first, and we get, like, an up-close, like... Get a glimpse. Get, get a little glimpse. And just get a, a little taste sneak of what peek. you're working with, yeah. He gets out of the car. He did not drive the car that he said he drove. And I was that was like the first thing, like red flag. <laughs> I see a car pull up and I see the haircut that I know that this guy has. And I was like And not that it like I mean I drove a ninety seven Ultima. So I I can't say shit, but I didn't say I drove a Porsche, bitch, the fuck. Like beep beep. No. He gets out of the car. Goes inside, and I look at my friend, and I was like, okay, mission fucking impossible. We're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, boy, bye. I, I, I'm not going inside. And she's like, no, like, we have to. Like, that's, and she's super nice. So she was like, no, we have to. It's like, it's, you know, and I'm like, bitch, first off, you sounds like you're telling me what to do. I don't like that. And second off, I'm gonna do what I want. So I literally jumped in my back seat, like, jumped in, it hits, like, under the thing. She gets in the driver's seat, and we drive away. And... That was, like, the most traumatic experience of my entire life. I was, like, I felt so bad. But at the end of the day, I was, like, and not that I was catfished. Like, I was told prior, like, it wasn't going to be what it is. Yeah. But I was, like, fuck that shit and got out of there. And that also happened to me when I lived in Atlanta. However, I was driving myself to said spot. And he, I knew he was an older gentleman. He told me that. Um, and he said, I think he said he was like 40 something when the motherfucker got off his car to go into the restaurant, he was like 65 plus. It was like senior citizen discount at the restaurant. It was like Wednesday buffet, people 65 and older eat for free. You know, that kind of thing. Ooh. And I, I, I drove away and I knew he mm -hmm. saw me and I literally called my friend and I was like, he fucking saw me. Like he definitely saw me drive away. Like there's yeah. no way. And the, the restaurant was like five minutes from my house. Thank God. But, and he, the thing is, is he never texted me like. No. Never again. Didn't he ask me where I was? Like, hey, are you coming? Nothing. Because I know he saw me, and I know that he saw me drive away. And I felt so bad. But he was literally, like, he was 40 years my senior. Like, he was an older good gentleman. And at the time, I was, like, 27, I think. So, uh, it was... So, I've driven away twice. 
probably <laughs> I've run out of places too. I'm like, fuck this. Gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like between us, we probably have the craziest fucking stories. I just have like weird shit happen to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like even out with you, I probably had some weird shit happen to me, huh? Yeah, same. I could I could go on for three hours about my time living in Baltimore. Like, the crazy shit that I got myself into there. <laughs> I just, like, attract the weirdos. I mean, I'm, that's why I'm scared to have Zach on here. Zach's ass would air all my dirty laundry out about Baltimore. <laughs> like, he, I lived with him. He saw everything. But then again, I do have dirt on him, too. So, take that, motherfucker. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I really get the strange ones. Like, I was just telling you earlier. I So, I've been getting on... Um, tinder more to have like some fun content to share with you guys because i really get the creeps on tinder i don't know why i get the creeps on tinder and i get the creeps on snapchat and then i had a guy slide in my email in my if that doesn't say modern day dating i don't know what does that's ballsy yeah that's like personal and it wasn't even like i've had people slide my email before trying to buy me for the night have you ever had that uh, yeah, and I'd sign up. Thank you so much. How much? Okay, $500. You've really never had that? Mm-mm. I've, no, had- I've had people try to make me pay them. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. That's another story. Ask I've had that. people email me and they'll be like, oh, you're so beautiful. I want to, uh, to pay you $5,000 a night. Mm-mm. And I'm like, mm. goodbye. 5000 Yes. I'd go. No. <laughs> That's how you get. If you had, if, if there was three people who offered you 5000 a night, you wouldn't have to work for like three months, bitch. You better get the ass back on that Tinder shit and no. go make some coin, girl. No. <laughs> That's how you get abducted, bitch. The fuck? Bring a friend. Split the money. <laughs> you gonna take both of us. <laughs> anyway, he said, um, let's do it. Hi, my name is blank. Really interested in you. So just email me back with your number and I will be glad to talk to you because you are so cool and so sexy. You do realize that if he has your email, it means he has your Instagram, which means you promote this, meaning he's going to hear this. I hope he does. Why the fuck is he emailing me? Does he have a photo on it? Yeah. That's so weird. I'm sorry. That's just weird. It's very weird. Don't email me. That's... Unless you're my boss. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> really ballsy. Like, I get the whole Snapchat thing where people have, like, their, their, like, Snapchat on Tinder and stuff, and people, or, like, their Instagram. Like, that's, you're going to obviously get people that, like, add you on Instagram. Right. And they slide in your DMs. They're like, hey, I just messaged you on Tinder, but maybe you didn't get it. Someone messaged you here. And you're like, right. Jesus Christ, get a grip, girl. Right. Damn. Or, like, people are trying to be creative or some shit, but that's not creative. That's creepy. That's like You better not come to my email unless you're trying to collab and give me some coin. I was trying to airdrop our neighbor. <laughs> I'm over here talking about people being creepy. (laughs) And I was over here. We have this hot neighbor. And I was literally sitting over here. I was like, I wonder if he has his airdrop on. I'll send him something. I hate me. Um, Should we go through my Snapchat? Mm -hmm. See if I find anything good. So I have, how many? I have like 70 unopened Snapchats. Let's see. We can't say their names, which sucks. We can't say their names. We'll see if I have anything good, though. Um, Boring, boring, boring. No, she's watching a show. What is she? Why is she up so early? I just tucked in my phone charger and for real, he been asking. I'm confused. What? So there's like a guy showing, a guy holding a phone charger? I'm, yeah. I'm big confused. What he's oh, saying? Hey, good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> okay, it's Hal. Oh. Okay. Is he the one who at Lowe's? Huh? Is he the one who works at Lowe's? No. Oh uh, my God. We had this one guy that used to snap me and he like. Worked at Home Depot or something. Worked at Home Depot or Lowe's or something. He would just keep snapping me and I never replied to him. I was like, can you put a chandelier up at our house? <laughs> and he was like, yes. <laughs> he would send me a picture every day for, uh, with a picture of him at Lowe's. Uh, always at Lowe's. Yeah. And whenever we're wasted, we start replying to the boys. So. <laughs> oh, this one's probably a good one. Jesus, are you real? He didn't even spell it. Jesus. Oh, she said Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Oh, this is my sister. What's she doing? Oh, she's doing some skincare. Look at her. Okay, she's pulling on the eye area a little bit. Leave her alone. Cutting back on drinking, sake. Oh, aren't you cool? Right. Hey, found you on Tinder. Just moved here. What brings you to Tinder? Hey. Okay, fake. Oh, he's calling me out. Oh, gosh. She's mad. Okay. You got some sun. Hey, your eyes are beautiful. They're fake. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Morning. I don't even know what that is. Hey, how's your day? Really good. How's yours? These aren't very entertaining. They're normally a little bit more entertaining than this. Hey, you're absolutely gorgeous, love. Thank you, baby. Hello, puppy. That's one works at Lowe's. 
I don't think so. No. He stopped texting me. Damn it. Ooh. Happy Easter. That was Steve. Uh, that's Steve Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said you an animated little card. <laughs> this is the one that wanted me to come over. Hey, come over tonight. Bitch, we are in a pandemic. Why are you trying to come over? Bye-bye. Oh, that's my friend, Brittany. Oh, you know Brittany. Okay, sloths. Everyone's really boring tonight. Yeah, what the hell? We might have to cancel this Okay, segment. she was scary. Oh, he's cute. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's, like, rugged. Aww. They're usually, like, dicks and stuff. This time there is none. None. No, usually it's, like, old people, too. It's so much fun. Yeah. And that one guy was, like, sending, like, nonstop. Speaking of $5,000 a night, I want to know what your thoughts on OnlyFans are. Because a lot of people have been shit-chatting about it. They're, like, either they are for it, they're against it. What you think? I think if people are going to pay you to show them what you show people for free, like, that's my philosophy. Girl, get your coin. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, like, at all, actually. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, my even my, my philosophy also is, is, doesn't have, like, different spectrum, but, like, sex work and stuff like that, like, what? There's spells on me. Um, like, I think people will give away that shit for free. If you're making coin, live your life. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I am the same way. I feel like do whatever you want, but I do think it's short lived. Oh yeah, you need to pocket. You need to save every coin you get on there. Cause I I feel like once you hit a certain age, um, it's like modeling. Yeah, you're you've a, no one wants to see an an old right. person doing porn unless you're like have a weird. Girl, crush. I have seen uh, Miss Crex Crocker. She um be getting on. Have you do follow her? Not on OnlyFans. Oh, you well on Instagram. You she know, be, you know who pancake? I'm gonna follow on OnlyFans. Who? Uh, Aaron Carter. Oh yeah. Pfft. You Bye. know I'm obsessed with him. Chris Crocker. He charges about five dollars a month, something like that, and he eats pancakes off his ass. Or and also he, he eats hot dogs. He does more dog. than that. He, well, I know, but he be eating hot dogs off his ass, pancakes off his ass, and people in his people in the comments are like, "You are so disgraceful." Da da da. And he's like, "I don't give a shit, bitch. You eat too." <laughs> Which I think is fucking hilarious. My only other thing, though, is, too, because I see a lot of people, um, how can I word this? I see a lot of people that I didn't know were into adult entertainment doing it, Mm -hmm. or that I, I mean, maybe it's their jam. I didn't really think it was their jam, so I don't know if they're doing it because it's trendy, or just because, like, maybe they literally need the money, which I hope that isn't the case, but it could be, which, like, get your coin. Yeah, for sure, 100%. Like, I don't think... I mean, there's people that, like, I could see doing it that have done it. Yeah. And I'm like... I mean, am I subscribing? No. Right. Unfortunately, you do have Pornhub for that. Yeah. Like, I don't need to... And if there's a celebrity and they have them, you can Google it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, Marion nude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you the can only see thing it. I feel like a lot of people don't think about, though, is that once you have that out there, it's an mm-hmm. egg. Yep. Like, I could never do something like that. I would lose my job. Same. Like, 100%. Yeah. If you... I mean... You have to think about, I mean, you have to think of a lot of, like, if you're trying to, like, move up, like, in the corporate world or whatever you want to call it, like, you have to think about those kind of things. Where or, like, like, ever get a corporate job. Yeah. I mean, I know people that have done reality TV, and they'll never get a job because of the way they acted on TV. And even though you're only seeing an hour out of a 24-hour day, or, you know, sometimes it's like they show you a clip for an hour of what happens in a whole entire week. Like, I know people that have, like don't get stuff like don't get employed because of it yeah and i know people that like i mean that are like oh like i saw you on like you did porn now you can't do this it's like first off i mean if i ever have my own company i'm gonna hire every porn star there is honey why hello not? <laughs> like, we gonna have the craziest the fucking best, bitches working they're the us. best entrepreneurs they have to sell themselves girl and that takes talent and they don't give a fuck <laughs> it takes talent if you can market yourself nude baby you can do anything <laughs> yeah them and drug dealers <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> creative individuals that's who i want <laughs> they are sales people creative um yep. but yeah so i hope the gals are doing well on only fans mm-hmm. no, i ain't subscribing baby but i'm i'm, I'm, cheer- <laughs> I I'm cheering to anybody on I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you a clap baby and you're gonna live your life and I'm, yep. I'm gonna love you for it i'm gonna give you a clap i might give you a like just to make sure you know you're doing well yeah you go baby you you get in that coin i mean if, if you think about it you do you charging 15 dollars a month and you're getting 150 people i mean you're making Good money, so what, live your life. What else do we want to chat about? Oh, the last thing we want to chat about, would you ever do a dating show? Yeah, I think no one would want to date me on there because I'm crazy as hell, but 
<laughs> I like say I would do a dating show because I feel like I would be funny to watch on there because I'm crazy as fuck. But like, I don't think it would ever work. I just don't. I don't think there are anyone who really goes on dating shows actually has a successful relationship afterwards because you're in a house for how long? Three months, two months, whatever it is, and you're filming. You have cameras around you 24-7. So I don't care what anyone fucking says. When there's a camera around you, you are going to act a certain way that you normally would not act. Like, that's just a given. Like, and you can, if you base the show on that and then you get home from the show and you're, and there are people who obviously have successful relationships. If I'm saying like, I can't say the word, statistic. Success, successful? Is that what you're no, saying? No, statistics. Sus- what statistics. the hell are you trying to say? I don't know, bitch. I got a fucking list. This ain't right. When people are doing what? what no, like, like statistics. Statistics? There we go. Oh, <laughs> like, the statistics of having a successful... Okay, okay. Afterwards, it's like slim to none. There are people who actually do... I can't say that fucking word. <laughs> what the hell? Um, I'd be mean, trying, though, girl. Specific, statistics, whatever. I don't care. Um, but I just think when there's a camera around you, you kind of adapt to that, and they go off. And then you go home, and the person, you know, lives however far from you. And then maybe they move or you move or whatever. It just is like, you have to re-get to know that person. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like it didn't, like, it's just kind of like, you're on a first date in a house like that or like wherever for three months. And then you get out and you have to relearn who they are. And people usually, normally, they're on their hate each other. Because one of them, or not both of them, are going to have a segue into other shows. So if you're on a dating show and then you get casted for... MTV this challenge and there's gonna be time away that you're gonna have to go so it's like I think it just puts so much strain on people I don't know yeah I think it would be funny to do it just because it's like we've already talked about if we were on a a reality show I do I love New York and play and I'd be straight just to meet her like (laughs) straight up I would just I want an I love New York show but like I love live (laughs) can you imagine I want you to do it and then I will I who's the guy in the bachelor that gives the roses Chris Harrison. Oh, Chris, Chris Harrison. Harrison. I you would, would be, be my the Chris Rose. Harrison. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'd be like, hello. <laughs> Can you imagine the fucking cast of characters I would have on there? I think it'd be great. I, uh, there know, would be like a Post Malone. There would be like a... Um, who that's else? the one that would win. I don't know. There would be like a him. There would be like a pretty boy. Who, uh-huh. who else would there be? Like who, who would be an example of a pretty boy? A rapper. Me? There would be a rapper. If Lil Peep was... That would be who my vote would be for. Like, girl... Baby, we gotta get the rapper on a one on one. Yeah. You ain't had a one on one with with G Slim. Oh, there'd be like so. an MGK on there. Yeah, for sure. Woo. He'd win. Woo. Yeah, he'd win. Love him. There would be an Aaron Carter on there. His yep. crazy ass. His... <laughs> See, when I was younger, I always wanted to do like Bad Girls Club, but for like gay boys. Yeah. And I was like, who the fuck can I pitch? That? I mean, this was when I was like twenty one, so I was like raging and like just being crazy. But I was like, if I got on there, girl, I would be the star of that fucking show. Like, I would do that. Like, where you're, like, lo- like Big Brother. I would do Big Brother, 100%. I would do Survivor, 100%. We've already said we need a reality show for the beauty world. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. can we make that happen, please? Right. I've already said, they would make me the bitch. I know they would make me the bitch. 100%. Just because I have that, I already look like, I have resting bitch face anyways, so... I would be, You'd be either the, the, the cast, like uh, what do you call it? Fan favorite. That's what you call it. <laughs> or I would be cast. I would be made to be the villain or fan favorite or the villain who's fan favorite. I don't know the loud one, the crazy one. That'd be me. I I they'd make me like the Jenny, like the crazy one. Mm hmm. Like the one who's about ready to fight, throw mm-hmm. down. Or the Angelina. I don't know. They might make me hurt. But too. how would they even like? It would be like Real Housewives, but of like the beauty world. But they'd happen in New York City Metro because there's so many good people. You think it would be cast. like that or you think we could do like a Jersey Shore style? Oh, have everyone in a house for the summer. Mm-hmm. Lock them in. Yeah, I've got my, they ca- can't I've got my cast ready. <laughs> yep, I already know who it would be. They can't Miss leave us. <laughs> Star number one. That's who I'm casting. I'm I would cast. Yes. I'm cast. Yep. I love them. I would cast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they would all be great. 100% hope you're listening, babe. <laughs> she'd be on there. If she she wouldn't last, she'd go home first. Like, she'd be like, I'm out of here. I can't do that. It's like, she would be like, I'm done. We've already all said we need it. Mm-hmm. We even all said, like, we should rent, like, just, like, a beach house for, like, two weeks and have I mean, you could do there. it. You could just get, like, an Airbnb mm-hmm. and then put, like, a bunch of like um, that one GoPros show, around it. That one on YouTube that we've watched. Oh, fucking um, Reality House. Yes, it would be like that. 
Yeah. Yep. I'd want there to be challenges, because how much fun would that be? Like, to have, like, challenges and stuff, and, like, <gasps> like, vote, like pe- and vote people what off. What would like, we even do? I don't know. Bop for apples? <laughs> Let's um, see who can chug this drink the fastest. Whoever doesn't, loses. That's a good one. <laughs> we don't or get pissed at beer other. bongs. Oh, my God. I think, yeah, I think that's a go. I think we got to pitch that to somebody. I think we've got to, too. All right. I think on that note, we're going to call it an episode. Mm-hmm. Bitch, this was a long... We were going to make it shorter today, and I think we ended up making it longer. Let's see. Yeah, we did make it longer. Whoops. All right. Well, anyways. <laughs> uh, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening um, or watching or, you know, whatever platform you're watching us on. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Like, if you like this episode, comment down below with ideas of stuff that you want to hear about or if you like this or, you know, Mm -hmm. whatever have you. All right. We will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye.